Hi guys, I welcome you back to Digital Assets. And uh, in today's video, we'll be talking about how to answer software of your choice that you didn't know before. So you know, in cafeteria, um, if you want to answer some questions, or if you want to review some software that you didn't know before, so it may be a problem for you in order to not to be disturbing anyone. So this is how you can do it. Let's assume they give you software now to review and you didn't know anything about that software. Once you click on it, let's assume I want to review this one. Then if I click on sign with my LinkedIn, so so once I once I log in with my LinkedIn, then the next thing for me, this one you didn't really need anything. Just type your uh the job title. Let's assume you are a graphics designer. So I will just type maybe uh, as a animator. So you can type maybe animator there, <coughs> uh, graphic designer, or anything that related to graphic stuff. So you can write animator or graphic stuff there. So my name. And the organization name. As my own organization name is web, you can use your own name. So industry, animation, company size, 2 to 10. How long have you used this software? Now, this is what you will do. <coughs> so, if they ask you this kind of question, you f uh, you have to know which uh you have to know if the software is paid or free software. So the reason is that there are sometimes that they may ask you to upload your documents if it's a free or if it's a paid software. So how will you know if some if uh, software is a paid or free so if you want to do it you will have to open your tab so and uh, you go to this uh this link i will drop the link in the video description we call it chat gpt so chat gpt will help you to answer all of the question you know i've already logged in but if you are a first time user so they will ask you to log in uh, to sign up with your number do everything like that so once you log in with your once you sign up with your um email account the next thing you do so you see something like this again then type any question that you want to you want this team to answer now let me explain what is ChatGPT. ChatGPT is an open software free software that you can use is a high so if I ask this question now, you will see something. What is chat GPT? You will see that this uh this AI will answer my questions. So you have to wait for it to write it up. As you can see, ChatGPT is a large language model developed by OpenAI that is trained to generate human-like text. It uses it uses a neural link, neural network architecture called a transformer to generate text based on a given prompt or context. ChatGPT can be used for a variety of natural language processing tasks such as text generation, language translation, and conversation generation. Now, the meaning of this is that ChatGPT, uh, with ChatGPT, you can write anything that you want. So, if you don't know something, if you don't know about any history, you can use ChatGPT for anything. So, it will be like a conversation between woman and uh, and, so, and software. So, you can ask any question in ChatGPT. So, let us assume you want to you want to know about this software now, about this Inkscape. So, you got you just go to ChatGPT, then type Inkscape. So. It depends on your software that they give you. I'm just using this as an example. So if you are given a clue or something like that, so you just type the name of the software that you want to review. Then type it here. So ChatGPT will give you full details about the software that you want to review. As you can see, it has now writing about the software. Inkscape is a free and open source vector graphics editor. It is similar to Adobe Illustrator, CorelDRAW, Freehand, or Zara Hex, 
but with a focus on open source philosophy. Inkscape can be used to create an edit vector graphics such as illustration, blah blah blah. So as you can see, which means this Inkscape here is a free software. So you can just go back to your review page. Since we have already know that Inkscape is a free software. So if the actual log have you used this software, you can just type or uh, any one. I just choose any option here. Let's assume I have been using it one to two years ago. In what capacity do you use Inkscape? So I'm using it for graphics design and vector design. How frequently do you use software? I use it weekly and I am a user. Then click on next. So at this section, you just have to type to rate it at any rate. So you can do more research about Inkscape, about the software that you want to review, or just give it any star. So overall quality, I give four star ease of use. The software is very easy to use. It has many features, customer support, value for money, ease of deployment, for vector, 2D drawing, image editing, data import or exports, test editing, design management, design templates, rendering. So how does the pricing for NSK compares to similar products? What they are asking you, uh, what they are asking you at this section is that what can you, uh, how can you compare the pricing with the other software that you are using? So I will choose this as inexpensive. It is not expensive at all. So because it is a free software, so it is not expensive. And how likely is it that you recommend Inkscape to a friend? So it is a free software, and it has many features. So I will give it nine. Then click on next. Now, <coughs> title, you can write anything on this title. So I'll just write for, for vector, for vector design. So you can write anything, you can write the name of the software, so it does not matter. Now, this is the point. What about the pros and cross of the software that you are reviewing? So get back to your ChatGPT. Then, just type the name of the software, Inkscape. I don't say the I don't say you should use Inkscape. The reason I'm using Inkscape is that it is the software that I'm uh, I'm reviewing right now. So if you are given Photoshop, that means you will write Photoshop. If you are given iClone, you will write iClone, and so on and so forth. So that is why I say the name of the software that you are reviewing, and you will now write pros and cons. Inkscape pros and cons, then just send. So let's Chachi PT write our pros and cons of the software. So let us wait and see the pros and cons. So as you can see, Chachi PT is now writing the details about the pros and cons of the software. So this is, is uh, this is the pros. And this is the cons. Now, you can just copy one here or you can copy two. So let me just copy only one. So depend on you. So let me copy two. So you can and you can even copy everything. So it does not matter. Then paste it here. So you can edit it or just give it some space to make it more sense. The cons. Then get back to your chassis PT. So the cons. Let me use this. Then what about the overall? As you can see, the overall is optional, but you can still make it unique. So if I type overall, so that means Chassis PC will write overall about Inkscape, about the name of the software. So you can copy everything if you like, or you can just copy, delete too. So you don't have to copy everything. As you can see, this is going too much. 
So let me just copy a little here. Copy. Then paste it under over all here. So you can edit it to make it more natural. So now if you if they ask you did you switch from another product? So you can choose no if you don't switch or if you switch. Let's assume I switch. Then they will ask you which software. So let me choose maybe Photoshop. Why do you make the switch? So it does not uh so if you want to answer here, yeah, let's assume the name or uh, the software that you are using, you don't know the details, much details about it. If they ask you to switch from another product, you can still ask ChatGPT about it. So what you just do is that you just write Inkscape, uh, the name of the software, and you type uh, alternative. So if you are reviewing Photoshop, you just say Photoshop alternative, uh, iClone alternative, blah blah blah, something like that. So which means it will be the title and alternative. So it's been analyzed alternative about it. So as you can see, it is giving me alternative. Adobe Illustrator is the first one. Why the second one is correct draw? Affinity designer and so on like that. So if I now get back to this, so let me remove this. So let me just see which one. I think uh, I've already reviewed this one before. Sarah Extreme. Okay. I have not reviewed this. Now you will copy the name of the software. Copy it. Then go back to. Oh. So if they ask you to do switch, you can type yes. If you switch. So, since we already know the alternative, then let me copy this one. So, Zara Extreme. If I search for Zara Extreme, I think this is the one. So, let me just use this. Or, uh, let me use this. Gravit Designer. Gravit David Designer, okay. So this one is optional. Did you integrate? So you can still say yes. It's also optional, but you can you can write this there so if you like. Did you integrate any products with Inkscape? Yes. So so if you don't know the answer for this one, then get back to ChatGPT. Inkscape integration. So you can let me just copy this and use this. Can just copy the number one. Okay. Scripting and blah blah. Okay, just or uh, let us use this alternative. So. I'll be using correct draw. Let me just choose correct draw. So correct draw. Why is the integration so important? Get back to correct draw. Well, let me use this sketch. Let me just copy this sketch. The reason why I'm using paid software is that I don't want to use paid software. So because they may ask for the licensing, so which you may not have. So do not review paid software. Or do not review software that does not have free trial. So make sure you do research before you made a review. On software, so 
so as you can see this one has a free trial so i can still use it then once you are done with all of this once you have get your answer from chachi pt just click on the box then click on submit so you can now submit it like that so that is how to review a software that you don't know as you can see this software here yeah, i did not know about this and i still make review on it get it published and get paid on december 29 so that is how i did my own thing so by using ChatGPT to get your answer so just ask ChatGPT any question of your choice it will answer you because ChatGPT is an uh it's a ai software that you can use to make on research that you didn't know before so let us know you don't know about something that you and you ask ChatGPT anything so ChatGPT can answer you even in any language it will still answer you so that is it about this for now if you love this video don't forget to subscribe if you have already subscribed don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be the first among people to receive the notification once i drop a new video see you the next one bye for now